Uh, welcome back to Spyro 2. This is the first game of the night. Second game of the night is Noida with Twitch integration. And um, apparently I increased the texture fidelity, and I'll tell you about that. First, new emotes. Vine Spice by... Vert Anderson and Vine Kermit by Arius Askey. Um, I feel like the Kermit could use a little bit more definition. It doesn't look so great in light mode, but it's it's still pretty good. It's uh it's the Kermit from Muppet Treasure Island. It was just added, so if it's not loading, it will eventually. Um, but space is very nice. Uh, boot did not get confirmed yet, I don't think. Weirdly enough. But thank you, Arius. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a good emote. I think it, it has potential. It could be just a little bit more uh, clear. Anyway, um, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm here for whoever uses light mode. This is what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to point the camera at Spyro and, and set you on fire. Anyway, welcome back to the stream. Before I begin, today's stream is sponsored by Balls. Not the drink, just balls. <laughs> no, uh, I hope everyone's good. I will tell you that apparently Spyro's graphical settings do not take specifically for texture quality. So, you know, you have to do that yourself. You have to go into, like, I mean, look it up. I can't tell if these textures are better, but essentially I set them on Ultra. Oh, those are some wacky textures. Um, they were on Low before, but you have to open a text file, edit it, or an INI file, and change texture quality to 3. And then... it works. Vinny, how about Byleth? Um... What about her? Him? What about Byleth? I streamed Smash the other day. People want to commit great violence against Byleth. I'm sorry. God, I'm so sorry. I played Smash today, actually, and I had a pretty good time. I'm... It's like, it's a weird muscle memory thing that happens that I have to apply my intellect to, otherwise I lose. But... I enjoyed it. I, I fought many a Byleth online. And it didn't bother me too much because I found some cheesy ways around it. Like, Hero does some really good work against uh, Byleth, but it was, uh, yeah, it was good. I, I still really enjoy playing that game, even if I suck at it. But today I won about half of my matches. So... I love those Cloud buffs, though. Man, Cloud just is so much better now. Vinny, did you hear the new gorillas? I did, I'm gonna play it during the BRB. What's your favorite flavor of tea? I like that weird vanilla tea I had with honey. Anyway, now that I'm settling into streaming, I would like to figure out where exactly to go. I think I need... Ladder climb ability, if I'm not mistaken. Vinny, what about the new Picard episode? I did not watch it yet. Man, there's a lot to talk about, isn't there? Um, so CBS uploaded Picard to YouTube, the first episode, and they're basically giving away the first episode for free. I wonder if that's because it's not doing well, because it's on a fucking horrendous service where people, they want people to spend $10 a month for what is essentially a couple of new Star Trek shows that aren't even that great. I wonder. Um, but, I mean, hey, it's decent, this Picard show so far. I'm 50-50, I'm as I've said, so I haven't seen episode two, I'll let you know. First, though, I'd like to, I'd like to figure out 
where this um where this thing is. Hang on a minute. I have to figure out where the uh money bags is for the ladder climb. It's in the next hub world. Oh, it's not even here. Okay. Um well shit, I don't know where to go. Uh there's so so many places to go actually, but I don't know specifically where I want to go. I guess chat, am I going on the map to the left? Like past Colossus? Go under the castle to progress. It's up to you. Alright, well, well, give me a minute. What is Twitch integration? It means that in Noida, you can vote for wacky things to happen. It, it, it seems pretty cool. Thank you. Let's do this. Every cutscene is just someone getting hurt. It's amazing. Extreme viol- it, it is with peace and love and extreme violence. We've always had trouble with the gear grinders. Hey SpongeBob. Now they've set up force fields to separate us. If you find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. I think there's a diode around here somewhere, uh, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be. Big tough guy with a wrench. Just a little bit of fire, and, it, and he's dead. No, to answer your question though, chat, uh... What was the question? There was a question that I was answering, and then I stopped speaking. There wasn't one. There was never a question! Then you didn't tweet that you were going live? Oh, you're right. Well... Well, that's been fixed just now. Um... I was talking about my credit card number. You want them wacky digits? Alright. It's one... Two... Seven... Five... Six... Five... Seven... It's the music industry code! It's the code! So, do you remember that nice job, Kermit, video of the recursion of Kermits? Where it's just a million Kermits going, THANK YOU! Uh, the dude, uh, I retweeted it, but... Now there's like, 80% more Kermit. So that'll be, I'll show you that later, I have to grab it during the break. So that's, uh, that's, that's the only, you know, that's, that's the thing I think is most important that I tell you about. If you were worried about lack of informations, you've been furnished. Okay. God damn it, Spyro. Okay, so these dudes are only fire. Okay, I have, I have to figure out which enemies die to which things. Strike anyone else is a little odd that in order to get your health back, you have to kill the local wildlife. Just... I mean, it's fine. Not, a, not at all weird. Alright. Man, this game looks nice. I, again, I don't know if that texture thing... If anyone's playing through this game and they haven't done the texture increase on PC... Um, look it up. Like, there's there's probably... Like, you could probably just Google, you know, 
Ultra Textures Spyro reignited, and that might take you to it. But you have to edit the INI file. I can't... I can't really tell. This is the PC version, yeah. This is the PC version. Also, did you guys hear about DMC3 getting all weapon switch? Where you could only bring two at a time, until, uh, unless you went to, like, a statue. But Devil May Cry 3 now, now you have real-time weapon change, and you can change to every weapon on the fly. So, I am now going to buy DMC3. I don't know if I'm gonna stream DMC3, but I'm buying it. I'm absolutely buying it. That game was the only DMC game I played, and I really enjoyed it, never finished it, so... The fact that, um, that's happening, and that's a good change, that makes me very, very happy. I will also be buying... DMC2! What about DMC1? No, I'm good. No, I'm good with just three. I think three is the one that I want to play the most. Vinny, but you deleted it? Yeah, I know. Well, DMC2 is still, like, available for re-download. It really, it really is just a click away. DMC3 reforged. I like how reforged is now the insult for terrible remakes. Also, John Fullsauce's Photoshop of Warcraft 3 ref refunded has been making its rounds. I've seen it in places that are completely unrelated to Vine Sauce. That is absolutely brilliant. There's even, like, the, sadly, the rabbit hole goes even deeper for how, like, lazy and terrible Warcraft 3 Reforged is. Like a cutscene surfaced from the demo version from E3 2018. And it's way better than what we got. It's now at a 1.1 on Metacritic. While I don't think this is going to wake Blizzard up, they're- after them- like I said, I'm not addicted to Schadenfreude and Suck Juice. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need it. I just want a good game. Warcraft 3 is one of my favorites. You watched the last Spyro stream, you heard me talk about this. You're probably sick of hearing me talk about it, but it's still... such a new thing, I can't not talk about it. It's very important to me. And I'm glad that people are fucking blasting this game. Because it is such a lazy, broken version of the game. It's not often that a remake actively makes the experience of the previous game, of the actual game it's remaking, like, worse or undoable. Gear grinder thieves keep taking our lightning stones. If you can replace them all and activate our generator, I'd be very grateful. So yeah, they're- they're making- they made the game worse, which is extra- extra special. Because now you can't even play the original without downloading the full thing, and- and the changes are just bad. And, uh, they apparently- they released a statement where they say they own all property. Every custom game, they own. Greed. Such greed. They did that because they didn't want to miss out on the next Dota, as if anyone's gonna fucking play this garbage now. Blizzard. One of my favorite game companies of all time, Fallen, so far. And again, this game right here, Spyro, was published by Activision, and it's a great remaster. Great port. I want to blame Activision solely for all this bullshit, but I kind of can't. It's not just Activision, it's Activision Blizzard. Blizzard or, Kon or Konami? Well, Konami's not even making games. Like, they they released, um, Contra Crust Core, you know? Vinny, it's not Schadenfreude if you're the one that spent money on it. Again, refund. That's true, though. You're right. I mean, the Schadenfreude would be if... There was zero. Did your refund go through? I, I, listen. Tomorrow, I will have time to do the refund thing. I have not had the patience or energy to get one. But I'm gonna make sure I get one. 
tomorrow. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't want this game on my system anymore. I'm, I'm actively going. They don't deserve unless they pull a No Man's Sky and completely fix it and add back all the features and make it so that it's fucking playable. I don't want this game on my computer. I hope I get the refund, but if I don't, at the very least, I'll have fun complaining. So it's fun. Vinny, when's the last time you were upset about a game? Or this upset about a different game? What game? Um, chat, any ideas? Pokemon? No, I'm not that big of a Pokemon fan. Pokemon is... I just didn't play it. But it didn't, like, piss me off. No Man's Sky back then? Yeah, but even then, I wasn't that into No Man. I wasn't... Like, obsessive about it. Metal Gear Survive? Maybe. So, chat, I have a question. What the fuck is all this shit? Do I have to just go and kill these dudes? It's a sucky minigame. But what's- what's this electric ball thing? Oh, they steal the balls! It was a lot harder in the original version? Oh, okay. Someone said, I remember Vinny getting really pissed at Turok 2. Oh, true story about Turok 2. I still really like the game, but the level design made me fucking infuriated because my, my babby brain just ignored the bad level design because I like shoot. But I still think Turok 2 is a great game. And it has, um, it just, man, a remake with better levels would, would make me so happy. But I don't think I got that mad. Like, this genuinely got me upset because it would be one thing if the game came out and I could just play the originals and not have to even think about this. But the fact that this overwrites the previous versions of Warcraft 3 is what really bothers me. Blizzard has become greed incarnate. I know they're not the only ones. Ah, I'm not the only one. My, um, my hopes for Diablo 4 are kind of lessening. Quite a bit. Thank you, Spyro. I found this shiny thing mixed up with our lightning stones. Please, take it as a reward. I might go back and play some StarCraft 2 to get my fix. I'll give it to him. Like I said the other night, I still like StarCraft 2. I thought that game was a lot of fun. It was a good sequel. I might just play it a little bit, get sick of it after like a couple hours, and then just not think about RTS games for a while. Until the Command & Conquer remake is inevitably fucked up. How do I talk to him again, chat? He won't let me. Never mind then. Command & Conquer is looking good so far. I haven't been following it, but that's that's nice to hear actually. That's encouraging. At least Spyro's good. Spyro's fucking great, not just good. And man, this music. Oh. 
God, could you imagine if Final Fantasy VII Remake is completely terrible, how many people will lose their shit? Could you imagine if Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out, and it makes it so that you can't play the original? Without downloading all of the remake first, and then having server problems? figure out how to get up here. Vinny, what do you mean you can't- what do you mean play the original? You can play the original though already. Wait, what? A Final Fantasy or Warcraft? That's later on? Okay. Oh, I think I have a bulb. Hang on a minute. Oh, I see, I see. You can play OG Warcraft if you have the CD. I don't have a fucking CD drive anymore. Um, and also, what about custom games? I don't want to play the campaign, I want to play like, customs and 2v2s and shit. like tears and rain. I'm sure I'm not getting all the correct information, but boy does it feel good to hate on Blizzard right now. I guess I do like that Shuck <laughs> Schadenfreude suck juice. What do you know? Someone said, give in to your anger. I did. I think I just did. And I'm calm again. I can't stay angry for too long. It gives you focus! Got an achievement. <laughs> Called Exterminate. Someone's saying they had to buy Warcraft 3 again for some reason. I don't- I didn't even get a chance to read all of that message. God. Well, we'll see what happens, chat. I mean, obviously I'm gonna be following this one and seeing where it goes. Thank you, Spyro. You've deactivated all of the electric barriers. We've been guarding this talisman from the gear grinders. Please, take it as a reward. So, um, Desert said, am I gonna check out Fantasy Star Online 2 when it comes out? Probably. I have to play that on Xbox, right? It's a Windows 10 thing. Wait a bit for the PC version. Yeah, I'm interested in that game. I might check it out. Someone else in chat said, Vinny, is it true that if you're in New York City and you want to see weird shit, all you have to do is leave your house for 10 minutes? I don't live in New York City. I live in Staten Island, which is its own <laughs> thing. It's not true here, 100%. Staten Island is part of New York City, but it's also... kind of not at the same time. Um, it's kind of not true here, but you definitely see some weird shit when you're in Manhattan, yeah. Absolutely. The dude with the cat on his head, for example.
god. Oh god, these controls get very finicky. Just to be very, very precise. Well, I mean, I managed to do that. Not, didn't take too long. Spiral, do you see that big building over there? The gear grinders are using it to steal our electricity. Please help us by shutting down the machinery inside. Okay. Vinny, what's your favorite beer? I don't necessarily know if I if I could answer that question because I don't know. I don't know if I have one. I like um, a Guinness on tap. I mean, we've had beer chat in the past on the stream. I like uh, Lean and Kugels and Francis Connor, like German beer, but I don't really drink a lot of beer, so I don't have a specific favorite that I can like easily point to. I just those are just some that I I remember liking. Like Blue Moon with an orange is good with pizza. It's not my favorite beer, but it's it's alright. Door hinge. Yinling is good. It's fine. Stella. I mean, anything that's inoffensive as a beer is fine by me uh, because I'm not necessarily oh, drinking beer for the taste. Well so far, you could have this little trinket for good luck. If you have any questions about shutting down the factory, just ask me. Next glides get tricky. You'll have to use your hover maneuver to make them. Press the action button during a glide to hover and get extra height. Remember to press the action button when you're very close to the windmill or you won't make it. Shit. I think some people genuinely like the taste of beer. Yeah, I do think that. I mean, it's it, there are people in chat answering that question. Depending on the beer, I'm sure people have their own brand that they like. Again, Guinness on tap when it's like fresh and delicious. It's fresh and delicious. But that's about as far as I can go with it. God damn it. Vinny, would you vape a beer? <laughs> you wouldn't vape a car, would you? Yes, Spyro. Get over there, Spyro. Good shit, Spyro. Oof. Spyro, help! The switch to turn off the gear grinder factory is in that room, but, um, it's awfully noisy in there. Oh, I got all them. All them gems. Thanks for shutting down the factory. 
Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it if you want. People are sending me that goose uh, that causes havoc on your desktop. Like, every day now I'm getting like, you know, four or five people that tell me about that goose. Uh, I might check it out at some point. I'm not going to... I'll probably check it out by the time everyone gets sick of it. But it's cool. It seems really fucking annoying. I like how the genre of geese being assholes has become so popular. This is not a genre that I expected to become popular in any way. I just thought geese were assholes, that's it. Nothing to it. But they're, you know... They're now famous. The, uh, at the Game Awards in New York, there was a goose costume. It was just the easy joke that they kept going back to. Like the goose, um, th the joke was that the goose had like injured the host. Host injured! any head to the paywall. Well, what's this place? This is the next hub area? It's a level? Oh, my bad. Would you like me to take you to a world where you can find a new talisman? Great. I'll take you to a new portal. Oh. Okay, thanks. Look at that loading time, man. I don't know the name of computer parts, but the SSD that I got for this computer. It's one of those small SSDs that you just, like, staple onto your motherboard. Yes, yeah, staple. It's an M2. Thank you, yeah, it's an M2. I got one of them, and boy is it nice. M.2, so it's not M2 like the tank. Seahorses, beautiful and cute. The shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Is Tom Kenny every voice in this game? M2 isn't a tank. What's the tank that has M? That the gorillas have a song about. M1. Okay, thanks. Hello! Hello! So an M2 is not a weapon in any way, right? There's there's no M2s in the military. It sounds like it could be one, but I guess the M1. The M2A4. It's a flying vehicle. The M2 Browning. Isn't that just a um uh bar? No, right? That's not a bar. The AR. Uh, there's too many things to remember when it comes to this stuff. I don't- I don't know. <laughs> I don't know.
Oh god. There's a Twitter bot that basically is just Gordon Ramsay, um... Like, fake Gordon Ramsay things. It was like... Like, um... Headlines? Hang on a minute. Um... Oh god. Gordon... Ramsay bot Twitter. I just want to read one of these. The reason... Kitchen Nightmares bot. And... One of them... Was really fucking hilarious. It was like, um... Like, customer, like, mistakes chicken for chicken. Something really dumb like that, but here, look. Fridge sprays enough greasy soup for 82 months. It even generates thumbnails. Gordon Ramsay tastes appalling fake sauce from lying manager. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay spits out tragic lobster, destroys the fish tank. Delusional bar shouts out at over 951 portions of arrogant lobster rolls. Livid chef hates hunger. Stubborn waitress loses cook-off to Gordon Ramsay's caviar. The kitchen with no bowl or glasses. <laughs> Empty waiter refuses to cook pasta. Ramsay chucks bucket out a window. Which he, he actually kind of did that. Like he chucked a microwave out of a window. At one point, I just remembered that this existed and had to, had to tell you all about it. Because, uh... This is the only thing that the internet makes better. By creating bots, life is good. <laughs> Ready for the robot uprising now. Thoughts on New Gorilla's song. I'm gonna play it during the break and then talk about it, but I like it. Hey, my- some of my favorite things that I've ever come across online are Gan Breeder, um, fucking AI Dungeon, Talk to Transformer. So, while it's true that not all bots are amazing or good there are many that i love and those are the ones that i love just like quality content for champs This fucking Hi, guy. Spyro. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. What do you mean you have a submarine? A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shockproof. I guarantee it. Oh, fuck. I forgot to hit no. Chat, you could always... You know, you could always look it up, I guess, right? I missed a lot of stuff underwater there. There's like a number of collectibles. Uh, sorry, I forgot again about money bags. It's like in Dragon Quest, I did the same thing. A lot of the no answers were really funny, and I just didn't do them. The sound effect in the song sounds a little bit like Chronopolis in um, Chrono Trigger. Or Chrono Cross, rather. There's like a little effect that reminds me of that one song. It's the same sample. Our world is 
wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquarian Towers to remember us by. Oh, level complete. Kind of. Oh, underwater fire? What the hell? Raw chef steals chicken from pork. Gordon Ramsay furious. Someone said, I hate how addicting his shows are. I know. I fucking know. Chef pisses out window. Onto Gordon Ramsay's chicken. Chef lies about piss in disgusting, arrogant kitchen. Chef cooks pants. Homer not satisfied. All right, it's time for me to stop, I think. left stick. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, wow. Look, look at this. We're all out in the open now. Mate. I'm guessing that's not an enemy. <laughs> Yeah, I made the mistake of, again, YouTube lately has been going mental with the Gordon Ramsay recommendations just because, like, compilations of best moments from his show or whatever, like Kitchen Nightmares. And I made the mistake of watching one of them while I was eating yesterday. And I started, like, feeling physically, like, repulsed and sick. Because there was, um, an old mushroom risotto that stuck to the pan. And it looked like puke. Like, it was, like, many days old. He's like, oh god! It was really, really, really gross. That was like, and usually I can look at gross shit on like a movie or a TV show or whatever while I'm eating and it's not much of a problem. That genuinely disgusted me. Or like someone that painted their tuna red. Like they dyed their tuna fish red to make it look like it was better tuna. But they used food coloring. <laughs> And then the show always goes the same way. Oh god, you don't care. You, I do, chef. I have the best food, chef. You don't care! You lost your passion for cooking! No, chef. No, please! How do I talk to you? 
Gordon, I have a family. I bet they cook like fucking shit too. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Great! Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. I was shocked because there was one case where I was watching the show about... He was talking about this, this one disgusting... There was like one disgusting meal after another, and he was like, This crab is rather good. So he doesn't just say the food is shit. Like, I think he genuinely will say something is good if it's good. Well done. I was shocked. I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Like, every other meal was terrible from the restaurant, but at one point he was like, this crap is nice. To get him into shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Okay. It's like Babby's first pilot wings. That would be a nice franchise to revive on the Switch. It's been revealed that the Switch beat the SNES in, in lifetime sales. It's doing very well. Incredible! You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. Oh yeah, Mario 64 had the rings that you go through. I would love a Pilot Wings switch. That would be great. Sorry, pal. Don't even chat. Uh, listen, I've been uh, avoiding... People were saying, so what about Superman 64? I've been specifically avoiding talking about Superman sp uh, Super 4. <laughs> 60 Man Super 4. Are you okay? No. You okay? Spicy man. Super four. I'm missing a lot of these little bastards. Or at least it didn't seem like that at first, but... And then there's that whole submarine section again that I might need, uh, might need to go through without the submarine, right? I say as I go back into the submarine. Soup or salad, 64. <laughs> Vinny, you need the power up for this. It do be like that. Um, I want to get a power up so I can go through there. That's this power up right here. Just, just very quickly try to go back there. Achievement. 
Lockjaw. I guess when you kill every mechanical shark on the level, you get that, maybe? Cool. Still missing one. The Seahorse King. The Seahorse Man is a bit glitchy. Well, I noticed he had one, but I the, an orb, but I couldn't even talk to him the second time I went over to him. Oh, you can just hold the button. Wow, I feel like a fucking dope. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. And remember, kids, dope doesn't pay. Unless you sell it. Wieners don't do drugs. That's that's also correct. Oh, you guys want my recipe for delicious hot dog ravioli? I'll take. Excuse me. Yes, I'll, I'll take the crab rangoon and the hot dog ravioli, please. Yes, chef. I just, I, sorry, I, I don't mean to keep bringing up Gordon Ramsay, but I, I guess I also kind of do, but I have to. Because I love that he chooses, I've said this on stream before, I'm sure of it, but I love when he goes to these shitty restaurants with 80 things on their menus. He always has to get the, the dish that's easiest to fuck up. Which makes sense, I get it, but it's just fucking hilarious. Like this little shitty hole in the wall place. That has... Like, three customers at all times, at most. Yes, I'll have, uh, the rack of lamb. Crab rangoon. Lobster bisque. Yeah, I, I kind of want, like, a soundboard of the effect that they have on Kitchen Nightmares. Uh. Someone said, I wonder how often does he get food poisoning? I wouldn't be surprised if it happens every now and then, but the dude seems to spit out most of the food he eats at these fucking places, so... God, it's terrible. It's awful. It's dry. It's fucking dry. Vinny, do you like diners, drive-ins, and dives? I don't have cable, so... Like, I don't, um, I, I've seen episodes of it. I've seen Guy Fieri's show from time to time, sure, but... I have never followed it closely. I've said how I enjoy watching him shovel, like, trash into his mouth. Yep, that's a good chili dog, Espinosa! And it's just a giant, like, 12-foot-long hot dog with chili, cheese, onions, pickles, cabbage, sushi, hot dog, more hot dog pieces, bacon, steak em, donuts, cronuts. And of course, pineapple.
God damn it. A lot of this is um, confusing to me. I wonder if I have to take the submarine. Oh, here it is. There's, uh, more variety in this game than Spiral 1, at least. Vinny flashbacks to the Great Bay Temple? A little bit, yeah. Are there any albums you're looking forward to in 2020? Um, Tame Impala. King Gizzard, when they inevitably announce one. Gorillas. Even though they're doing one song at a time, which is cool. Sound of the Summer. I'm also looking forward to the Pearl Jam album, because that first song that they released was pretty good. MGMT, I don't think it's confirmed that MGMT has a new album coming out this year, but I'd be down for one. There's always a bigger fish. Have you ever played, streamed any fighting games besides Soul Calibur? I noticed you didn't include Smash in there. Which, that's an inflammatory topic, so that's fine. Uh, Mortal Kombat I streamed. I, I've always enjoyed a Mortal Kombat game whenever I played them. I mostly just like Soul Calibur. I've played Street Fighter in the past a little bit. Um, what's the... oh man, what, there's a fucking arcade game I liked. I've played a lot of fighting games on stream. But I've also... a lot of them are just kind of trash. I've played Tekken, yeah. Played a lot of Tekken on PS1 at my friend's house. Uh, Samurai Showdown. I think it was a Square game. Or no, Bushido Blade. Bushido Blade was a fucking wacky game where every hit was like an insta-kill. Wasn't exactly my favorite game, but I enjoyed it for a while. It was unique and fun enough concept that it made me want to continue. Vinny, there's a secret orb near you. Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway. But if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! Ocean Speedway. Vinny, did you play Guitar Hero? I did for a while, yeah. I had Guitar Hero 3 Rock Band. I have Guitar Smith or Rocksmith where you use your real guitar. Vinny behind that door. Okay. I'm smart. Oh, fuck, I'm stupid. Rocksmith was a lot of fun just because it got me to learn. I want to play that game again. I wonder if my input delay would be any better. I want to get- that the one problem I had with Rocksmith was that the fucking input delay on the guitar was- was nasty. 
Like, I don't know if there's a way to use an interface, but I have an interface that I could use. It was really cool because it taught me how to play songs, it taught me how to get better at songs. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. That game is hard to find now. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the Professor was working on some new Super Portal technology. There! That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah? How about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Either of you. Where are we? Hmm. No dragons. Wonderful. <laughs> Crush, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. Crush. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down! Hurry! Oh my, oh my! I can't see the Is this switch. the end of the game? I think I've broken my glasses! Crush! Go through the <gasps> portal, you idiot! Okay. Tell all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar. Quickly! <laughs> This is how Ripto got there, now! I see. Yes. Crush! Get the orbs now! Now, you despicable little creature! I'll kill you! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah. I, uh, would have gone after him, but didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Okay. I mean, it's it's a story, it's a collectathon story. It it works. It does what it needs to do. All you need is just some like basic establishment of good guys, bad guys. Oh, don't be a dick, Spyro. That's what you need. Every game, every platformer needs that. A rhyming witch. With that voice. This game has very fluid controls, I like that about it. <laughs> now, crush! You may have 
been able to defeat that ah. simpleton, but golf will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, shorty. That emote's getting a lot of use today. Destroy him and make sure it's painful. And make it a rush. What? Go! Get me out of here! So long, dragon. What a wuss. Spyro is right, though. If you need instructions. It skipped. Chat, why did it skip? Because someone linked to the goddamn cutscene, and I forgot that you can't tab out of this game, otherwise it skips cutscenes. <sighs> God. It has background input. That's a shame. Time to reset the whole playthrough. It had money bags in it. Can someone get me a clip of that on, on YouTube if anyone has the patience to do so? I'm so sorry. Sounded like Kitchen Nightmares. It was. Someone linked a Kitchen Nightmares clip. <laughs> that does sound from Kitchen Nightmares. I don't believe any of these links. Oh, no! Wow, amazing! Thank you, smiley face. That's excellent. That was very nice of you to not link to, um... Uh-oh, Stinky. That's, that's great. <laughs> that Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. Oh, if Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! No! His money will keep him alive, don't worry about it. Go. We finally made Avalar ours. You've earned a special reward. Go. What is it, boy? Oh. I was like, why is this happening so soon? Oh god. It was there that I knew. I was in spoiler territory. I was disgusted. The Simpsons. Do 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 What was the Scampsons? Was that from a video game I streamed that was garbage? The season of Vine Sauce has just been Gordon Ramsay and Muppets. I mean, if you're only counting memes, sure, you've also missed Chrono Trigger if you're just counting memes. But there's actually a clip of Gordon Ramsay with the Muppets. Also, this is a rerun season because I've done Gordon Ramsay before on stream. This this has been like a multi-year thing. Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for a, a small fee. Thanks for the gem, Spyro. Dick. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skelos Badlands. I did it again. Hmm. 
Those darn birds in Zephyr never paid me for all the bombs and TNT barrels I gave them. <laughs> Does this season have McClunky? Or was that last season? That was last season, okay. Bird violence. We got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. Everyone knows who Spyro is. I feel kind of bad killing these Tweety Birds. I'm going to criticize one of my heroes now, Stuart Copeland. And I don't feel this way in the most negative of ways, but I'm going to do it. And I know this, this is a very dear soundtrack to many people. A lot of these levels sound very similar. You can disagree if you want, and that's fine. I think they sound... they... He's got a style, and it sounds very similar to many other stages. Just a little different. Different arrangements, but also kind of similar arrangements, too. Spyro 3 has better music. Debatable. Okay, I didn't know that. Same could be said of Kirk Hope. Um, it depends on the soundtrack with Kirk Hope, because I think Banjo-Kazooie... For me, every level feels right. Like, there's... A, the style it pervades, but... I feel like each level in Banjo-Kazooie it mimics its style. Like, the haunted place... Perfect. Um... The place with Clanker's Cavern. <laughs> You can blast that bird, soldier. Jump up here and give it a try. Look at this dude's texture. It's so slimy. We make the pants. Oh, I forgot about that. We make the feedly, finally, foodly, foodly pants. Oh, yes, we do. We will never say no to money bags. We never want to have fun. We make the pants. Spam! I can't get out of this. Wow, okay. That's what I get for singing the song, I know. I, I know exactly you are right. Did you see those kids that made a fake Green Day album and then released a video on how they did it? The amount of effort that they went through to fool people?
my god, so many birds. This place is just a war zone. I mean, obviously, but goddamn. the pants. <laughs> we make the pants! Oh, yes, we do! having a little too much fun, chat. Don't mind me. You know why I- you, did you know why I did what I did, chat? Do you know why? They didn't drink Wilkins coffee. Do you drink Wilkins coffee? I do- <laughs> Cool advertisements. Lots of really- <laughs> Lots of really interesting marketing in that Wilkins coffee series of adverts. Oh yeah, there are cat noises in the song. What do you know? I want to check out Reignited version. Just lacks the punch. Again, none of the Reignited music has been terrible as far as I'm concerned, but... Stu's original version is just so much more exciting. Used most samples from very popular VST from the 90s, early 2000s called Distorted Reality. It's why it's similar to other tracks, other soundtracks of the same era. Other than that, a lot of instruments were sampled by himself using his Kurzweil K25000 keyboard. How about that weird-ass fucking sample pack that was found that was used for most of the Metroid Prime Trilogy soundtrack? What was that? That's- that was an interesting find, where people were, um... What was it? Dynamic is messing with the music. It's- it's already off, though. That was the original soundtrack, the whole time. Are we yachting? Dynamic is only on with the new ones. Yeah, there was no dynamic option for the original. Was messing up the new soundtrack, Vinny. That's what they were saying. 
Turn it off now that you're in Reignited. I get, I get what you mean. Even though Chad is still giving me a hard time for almost no reason, don't worry about it, Chad. I'm fine. We'll, we'll all we'll we'll get through this together. I just wanted to hear the different variations between dynamic on and off. Someone was like, "Why'd you turn it back off?" <laughs> it's okay, Chad. So yeah, it sounds like instruments are removed when you turn dynamic on, and then they probably are reintroduced in certain areas in certain situations, which makes a lot of sense. Again, I appreciate the effort. It's nice that they went through the amount of work required to make that stuff happen, where other companies remake games and put almost no effort into it whatsoever, as we all know. And it's worse in almost every way. I was committed to destroying that dude. I realize now we have two Muppets as emotes. <laughs> I'm so sorry that this has become Muppet sauce. Is that Kermit? That Kermit is from the game I played yesterday, Muppet Treasure Island. It's where Kermit is holding on to Miss Piggy, and he can't hold her any longer, and his face just distorts into this weird puppet. Wow, what an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh yeah, the Colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the Breeze Builder defenses. Good job, soldier. Had the wooden leg in 1952. <laughs> Anyone? No? <laughs> Am I the only one? It's a. No, oh, never mind. It's a, it's a really fucking early Pink Floyd song. Not one of their best. But I still like it. It's right after Sid Barrett got booted from the band. Yeah, there's like a kazoo solo in that song. Yeah, it's not terrible either. What does this look like? Chat, this reminds- first of all, I don't like its skin. It's kind of disturbing. That reminds me of- oh, oh, Max Bebo's band from Star Wars. Is that his name, Max Bebo? Don't Bebo Frayed. Max Rebo.
I may not like the sequels all that much now that they've concluded in the weirdest fucking way possible. But I will say I mostly like the new alien designs. I wish they would have gone with a little bit more of the classics, but there's some good aliens and stuff in there. Some, some good uh, production. Not really just talking about Babu Frick, but there's a couple ones that I liked. Not overly memorable ones. Like there was a goat that flew X-Wings. So that one I didn't really think was all that interesting. There's no, n listen, no aliens compared to Max Rebo. Three of five. Which of the sequel movies did you enjoy the most? The one... Oh god, Force Awakens, sadly. You've been hearing about Star Wars for the past however long. You don't need a long conversation about it again. But it had the most... Um, it felt... Even though it was a, a fucking rip-off of A New Hope... It had the most potential. It made me interested and excited to see what direction they were gonna go in. And it had some really cool moments and... I guess... Too many mystery boxes. Thanks, JJ. But it was the one that I enjoyed enough in the theater that when I rewatched it the second time, I didn't hate it. What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy! The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. What would a Tarantino Star Wars be like? I think I, I think you know the answer to that question. Also, look at that tooth. God, that tooth. It would be just two, like, a smuggler and an alien in a, like, a spaceship flying around Bespin in a four-minute unbroken shot, just listening to Star Wars radio, while the camera points at the dude out the side window, and they just talk about, like, like, blue milk. One of them has their feet up on the counter. Harrison, we really like to get this scene right, you know? Hi, Robot Boy. I've got a magic beam, and I mean, seed for you in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Vinny, this cow mission requires climb. Oh, man. You le learn to climb on that hub world. Misplaced your seeds. Here you go. Kind of surprising that Spyro can shoot fire at the seed, and it's fine.
Anthony just glide further? God damn it, seed. I mean, I'll figure it out eventually. level's kind of big, so... Did I blind something? Yep. You don't need climb, both the other cows are here. I- yeah, I just don't know how to get them back. We'll, we'll worry about the cows in a minute, I just want to try to do this while I have the seeds. this seed. You need to climb the second part. Climb for the second part of the mission. Oh. Right, well, there's another seed here, so that's three. Okay, that's three. Oh! Here's number four. doors are holding up pretty well for having dynamite blasted at them constantly. with you, if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. Meow. Oh, quick Earth Cam update. There's a camera at Abbey Road Studio in uh, England. In England, without the voice crack. And, uh, it's, it's kind of hilarious, because everyone's just acting like a jackass and upsetting the people in their cars, trying to recreate Abbey Road's cover. Like, people almost getting killed. 
<laughs> Maybe not getting killed, but it's pretty um Yeah, it's it's a little it's a little weird that at like all hours of the day people are at that crossing just walking like jackasses and trying to get like a selfie or have someone take a picture of them. Abbey Road Cam has been a drinking game for years. Take a shot every time someone acts like a jackass. Abbey Road Joker Stairs, what will they think of next? The Matrix Elevator. I guess anything from a movie could be that. What are some other locations that were in movies that got stupidly famous? The Exorcist Stairs. Rocky Stairs, that's right. Yeah, the Rocky Stairs. Uh, the Home Alone House. The Forest Gump Bench. Does anyone know where that even is? Romeo, Quentin Tarantino Romeo. Foot Locker. <laughs> Inception Bridge. There's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. The house in Breaking Bad with the pizza. Oh, when Walter White throws the pizza onto the roof. I've never even watched that show yet. And I know about that scene. It's famous. Joe's Pizza from Spider-Man 2. Actually, yes, Nick, didn't you and I pass by that place? We did. There's a lot of Joe's Pizza in New York City, but there's a lot of fake Joe's. So you must accept no substitutes, and you must find the real Joe's. And then there's Ray's Famous Pizza, Ray's Original Pizza, Ray's Pizza, R Not Ray's Pizza. I think there really is a place called This Is Not Ray's Pizza. I would not recommend Ray's Pizza, by the way. I don't know why it got such a reputation that there needed to be a million places like Ray's Pizza. Ray's Pizza is the stereotypical pizza place with the red and white checkers. And just like, uncomfortable plastic seats. You don't- you don't want to eat at Ray's. Have you gone to Carmine's Pizza? I don't know about Carmine's, but I know Joe's on Carmine is, is amazing. What the fuck? Where did it go? Oh, okay, well that's- that's nice at least. You've reunited me with Juliet! Oh, now we can take our honeymoon in Idol Springs! John's of Bleecker Street. Yeah, that's my favorite pizza in New York City, pretty much. All things considered, if we're not talking about eight hour long waits, or, you know, waiting an hour for a dude to put oil on pizza at Defara's, John's on Bleecker Street is maybe the best pizza. Worst pizza in New York? I don't know. Sabaro, I guess? I don't know. Pizza Hut? You name it. Probably 
I'm sure there's a shitty dollar slice place that's not... There's decent slices that you can get for a dollar, but there, I'm sure there's at least one really terrible one. Or maybe you can watch the Funny Pizza Man review, and he'll probably have a, a worst... I, I just don't know. Maybe, like, a slice of pizza at, like, an airport or something? Something for, you know, the effort. Many people exclusively visit New Zealand because of Lord of the Rings. I would. Sphinx did. I'm sure Sphinx enjoyed New Zealand more than just the Lord of the Rings stuff, but... I... Would go, I would go, I would go there. Just for the Lord of the Rings stuff. Amon Hen, take me to the Shire. Take me to the river! Chat, can I not get the last two cows because ladder? You get climb. I need to get climb first, yeah. Vinny, would you live in a hobbit house? With slightly taller ceilings, yes. They look cozy. Alright then, keep your secrets. What if there was no internet? Hmm. I mean, at what point do you just get used to it and live life and smoke your pipe weed like the hobbits do? Alright, I'm warning you, bird, with love and peace and violence and death. Is there a Sheldo Baggins? I'm just- I made- did I make that up? Because I know Belladonna took... Took. And, like, I know there are a lot of Bagginses, and the, then there's the, um, the Sackville Bagginses. I know, like, some of the lineage of the Baggins family. But I was wondering if there was a Sheldo Baggins. <laughs> no? No, not Sheldon. Not Bazinga. Well, well. I bet a rich dragon like you wouldn't mind cashing in a few gems to learn how to climb. I'd be willing to teach you for, say, oh, I don't know, a small fee. No. Okay, you can come back and learn later. But if you had any idea what was at the top of this wall, you'd be willing to pay double what I'm asking. Well, well. Fine. You won't regret it. Okay, when you see a wall surface that looks climbable, like the one to my left here, just jump onto it and you will grab it with your claws. Use the left stick to move up and down. Press the jump button again to leap off. You can also jump sideways onto another climbable area. What? This doesn't even make any sense. Spyro, you could have just done this all along. <laughs> what? 
We're just shimmying on up? Uh, Alright. I guess he just needed the motivation. He needed some positive reinforcement. Hey, I mean, there are some psychological effects of spending money on something. Even if you could do it anyway, or if it's like something that's not all that important to you, if you spend the money on it, there's like psychological reasons why you would value it further. That's why people who sometimes buy snake oil report uh, placebo results. I just made all that up. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm having trouble with this door, but I think some orb power might unstick it. Ah, I see you've collected a good number of orbs there. It seems right, I guess. Maybe I won't go back to the earlier levels just yet. Well, you can just instantly travel to levels, that's cool. But at some point, I'm going to need to go back to these levels and get more stuff. Go to Breeze Harbor next. Breeze Harbor is infamous. Someone said, I've been feeling the placebo of this sub for a year. My friend. I am grateful. I will make it worth your smile. <laughs> but not I can let you much more than that. Over there in exchange for a few gems. What do you say? No. Okay, it's up to you. I hear there are a lot of gems over there. Really? God, this guy sucks. I can let you into the little no one's been through that portal in years. I never thought I'd find a sucker. I, I mean, <clears throat> you're a shrewd customer, Spyro. Shady Oasis. For a I thought... <laughs> Uh, I read it very, very quickly while the letters weren't in view, and I thought it said Daddy Osteoporosis. <sighs> I don't know. Spiral. Ripto and Gold. Someone just said, break the wall. <laughs> I would have never even thought to do that. Nick, and listen, I know about the subway stuff. That's all I'm going to say. You can't trick me. I'm already aware of it. It's too late. You pose as my friends, and then you tell me about subway sandwiches. I know. It's, you can't. I'm immune. Too late, chat. Where's Breeze Easy Gulch or whatever the fuck people told me to go to? Need to find that place.
What's the name of it? It's definitely not Breeze Easy Gulch. I made that up. Breezy Breeze Harbor. There it is. I know everyone tells me to click the thumbstick so Sparks can tell me what to do and everything, but I've been doing that. Spark tells you where the gem are. I didn't even know if that was an enemy. Spyro's just killing and then asking questions. Please excuse the mess, Spyro. We are currently suffering from a land blubber infestation. First, they put out the fires in our boilers, and now they've shut down our ship, too! If you could stoke up the fires under the boilers, I'm sure you could make your way to the ship. The steam from the boilers will activate our highly advanced machinery. Okay. Um, I can't imagine why chat would want me to play this level so bad, other than the fact that it's probably really annoying. to Copeland using the same um, office chair sound effect with a little bit more delay on it this time. Just lean back in that office chair, Stu. I don't think I can make that jump. Please excuse the man. If you could stop. Oh. Oh my God. I get it now. You have a limited amount of time. Yeah. Hurry up! This is very interesting. This is this this lad right here. It's pretty intense graphics you got there.
Are you, it's still alive? Didn't even work. I saw it got it, it heated up. At the very least. We make the pants. We make the pants. That's right, we do. I'm guessing that's not a bad guy. That was a bad guy. <laughs> Noit Yacht. Soon. Uh, very, very soon. Uh, I'm pretty much only going to be streaming this level until I get the Talisman and then Noit Yacht. Wait, what's the blind here? Did I miss something underwater? keep my eye open for that shit, because I, I wouldn't even... I just missed it completely. sense for where the fuck I even am. Land lovers have littered these metal spike mines all over the harbor. If you can clear them out, I'll give you this orb I found in a clam yesterday. Oh cool, it was in a clam. Where's the clam sauce? I don't know why clam is a funny word, but it is. Turns out I did need to kill this thing. Not even for the vaginal connotation that people ascribe to it, but just because the word clam itself is kind of funny. But thank you for everyone that was reminding me that a clam is in fact a euphemism for, uh... Vagina dentata. Those land lovers have littered these metal spike mines all over... You want to know what Vagina Dentata is? It's, uh, it's from The Lion King. Vagina Dentata! No? Alright. Adult baby man streams video game to 6,000 people. Someone said, I just woke up at 7 a.m. for this. <laughs> I mean, this isn't a TV show with an ongoing story. You know, this is like... Monster of the Week episodic shit. With bad writers in its 10th season. In order to even continue, like, we needed to steal jokes from the Muppets. Soon it will be on Shutter. 
Yep, Vine Saw Shutter exclusive. Or at the rate it's going, CBS All Access for nice budget streaming opportunities. Just like playing Call of Duty. There's another one near the first cannon. Well, shit. I was called clams by some of my uncles. I don't know why they did that. I'm not sure what part of me was in any way clam-like. I think that was like a nickname that I had when I was a kid. I just, like, it just occurred to me. I haven't thought about this in like 30 years. Okay, maybe not 30, like 27 years. Repressed memories. I didn't like clams. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> now that I think about it. Did you ever think back to when you would go to a family thing or like, a, a, you know, had a family gathering and then like, you think like, oh, it's just there. I could just do that again. And then you realize it's 30 years later and nothing is even remotely like it used to be. No, never mind. Where's the clam sauce? Someone said that the new uh, site name is Clam Sauce. Doesn't have the same ring to it. Is this little bastard putting out my fires? I was also called Wonton. I wasn't. Thanks for getting our ship fired up, Spyro. Now we could proceed with our counterattack on Zephyr. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Okay, but I still need to do that one thing with the cannon. I just want to do that before I leave the level. Well, lucky for me that you came along. 
My machine. That's, nope, that's not happening. I'm not doing that one. Nope, chat. I'm not doing your trolley shit now. Oh no. I guess I am. How many times am I going to hear trouble with the trolley? I wonder. Next time I stream this, we'll do it. Do you remember corrupting that? Uh, only vaguely. If you didn't say something, I wouldn't have been... I wouldn't have been aware that I, I corrupted that at some point. I don't know why I couldn't words there, but yes. Yeah, no, I, I don't fully remember that I actually even did that. I do remember the spiral corruptions, but... Not much of them. So shoot down the floating mines. Win. Chat, was there another floating mine around here? Someone said by there was one by the first cannon. This is the second cannon. That explains it. Hello, yes, this is Clamsaw speaking. How may I help you? It only appears if you beat the trolley. Oh, well, fuck that then. Not true, Vinny, it was Japes. Well, I don't see it anywhere. the wall. You walked right past it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see it. What does it have on it? Please! <laughs> oh. Alright, that'll be enough Spyro for now. That was... that was fun. This is a very good game. The adventure will continue... soon. More extreme violence. Alright, so, yeah, I'll, we'll resume, and i go back to that level and do the stupid trolley. I'll do it in two tries, guaranteed.
Someone named Super Spyro in chat said, This is definitely the most hype game I've seen you stream so far. You might be a little biased. But I'm okay with that. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Super Spyro. Um, let's take a quick break. I'll play that new Gorillaz song because I think it's pretty cool. And I will be back with Noita. Noita. Noit. Don't be anoint at me while I take a quick break. Waka waka.